Hello everybody and welcome back to Slay the Spire Where as you can see we have a continue run over here Well what happened was I started a run, I did like two floors uh, Or two fights and then my PC crashed So hopefully we're going to continue and see where it places us It does place us in the same fight Awesome, so you see we just did three fights over here We got some good cards um, Bloodletting, Iron Wave, that's all we got So two cards in total And we are currently on the third fight And uh, we did have this little magic flower Which gives us 9 HP vision per turn But to get it back to sacrifice 8 of our max HP Now this sucks because this is not the same setup I had it Means I'm going to tank an extra 7 hits of damage Which I didn't tank last time And that frustrates me So yeah That sucks man but that's what the game decided to do. They tried to rob me a little bit, and um, that's not exactly fair per se. But that's probably life, as they say. So we're gonna go here. We're going to like bloodletting will do three, and we can block five, and then we take four in total. <coughs> Sorry, we take five in total. So it's definitely not worth it to bloodlet here, unless we double block and we take nothing. Um, or we just attack and take seven. We double block, we take nothing. So let's go for the double block. Very annoyed because my <coughs> excuse me, my previous um, go was way better. Throat scratching a little bit. <coughs> excuse me. Um, don't know what the hell is happening right now. It's very frustrating. But what can I do? Oh my word, we're not going to kill him. It's weakened, it's so good. The Slaver is truly the strongest first floor enemy you can fight against. Really frustrating. Way too strong in my opinion, but uh, what can you do? She's dead now and this automatic. So as you can see, we heal 9 per turn, that's huge. Uh, Shockwave Corruption Combust. I feel like corruption is probably the way to go here. We do have a nice skill here. Makes the skill free. It's really free though. So it's actually bad. At the end of turn, lose one HP to four damage to enemies. I mean, that's pretty good. I think Shockwave is the one we need to take. Quick question mark here. Heal 18 or remove a card from my deck. Removing one of these strikes from my deck could be good. But if we get that strike thing, it will be bad. So I guess we're just going to say sorry, Mr. Cleric. I appreciate it, but... Uh, I don't need you right now. It was a kind gesture, Mr. Craig. Don't get me wrong. So I think what you do is you start off with a uh, shock here. So we're doing two damage. So we can... Like, I mean, we can't block. We can't stop anything, so... I mean, we might as well block here because... We're not going to kill anything. And, um... Well, we're absolutely not going to kill anything here. And uh, we can block like 40% of the damage incoming and we're going to heal 9. So that was 3 plus 2, it's 5, like 8. So we took like 8 damage, we heal 9. So we're already up by 1 HP. And uh, here we can hopefully start start getting some kills. I think what you do is you go for, this does 6, right? 6 plus 7, so it's 9. It actually does 9. Interesting. So let's just take out this guy straight up. This does seven damage. We can't kill anything, so we might as well like just get him lower and then block. And we will take no damage in this turn either, because we'll take nine in total. But we'll so we not lose any HP. We're trying to heal up because we want to fight elite next turn. We want to be at max HP. I don't want to use any potions now because of the fact that we're fighting elite. We can't kill anything now because we're weakened. So that's also kind of a problem. Boom, boom, boom. Okay, so we're doing 8 damage, with a vulnerable, so 6, so we're doing 12 damage. So we can take out the guy in front. And then we can defend. So we'll take 3 damage here. Taking a little bit more damage than I would like, but uh, these are the slimes and they are pretty hard to fight. Because there's so many of them. And we have single target damage. If we needed here was the Reaper card. Man, the Reaper card would have been so good. So good. Vulnerable and weak race of everybody, that sucks. So now I do normal damage again. Dun, 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 dun. Uh, we can take out one of these guys. I think we take out this guy over here. Definitely, and then we block again, I guess. So we take no damage here, but we're going to get weakened one more time. 
and uh, that might make the next make us tank one more hit of damage possibly in this fight. If we take no more damage in this fight, I'll be a very happy man. But uh, that's going to do six and only six, so this will do eight damage here. So we kill one slime, block one slime, and we only take zero damage instead of any damage. I guess it was instead of like four damage, so we like counted four damage, and that's huge. Um, we are dead, Mr. Slime. Once you get down to two slimes, it's really easy. Anything before that is still a problem. If fo Warwind's good and blood for blood's good, but I'm gonna, I'm gonna be like a little bit weird and take Infernal Blade. I haven't had Infernal Blade for a while. These both are like really expensive, and I feel like we don't really have any way to like keep those going. Okay, so it is the spider, which is very nice. Spider is a lot better to fight on the first turn. So I'm gonna start off with a bash, of course, on the spider. He's gonna wake up. We got Infernal Blade here. So we get to our clash. Can't use the moment, but we'll use later on. Oh, we have no energy because Infernal Blade, of course, uses one and makes it cost zero. And we can't cast Clash because Clash is unusable. So that was the worst possible start we could have had. We only did two damage on the first turn. That is absolutely the worst possible start we could have had. So, uh, very unfortunate. We're going to take eight damage because of our misplay. Well, I mean, how are we supposed to know we're going to get Clash? Like, out of all the things we could have got, the one that would stop us from doing damage is Clash, and we got it. So, um, I think we got Shockwave here. God. Take three damage. God. There we go. Instead of taking eight, we're going to take six. So we save two HP there, I guess. Whether that's worth it or not, I'm not sure. Is bloodletting uh, isn't isn't exhausted, so we can keep bloodletting. So here we want to go defend, bash, clash. Because clash does more damage than strikes, so defending there to be able to use the clash was obviously the right choice. We have two strength from something. What is that? What is giving us two strength right now? What is giving us two strengths? I don't know. Oh, the drink, we drank a potion, of course. We drank a potion that gave us strength. Okay, so, obviously, Iron Wave here. Slash. Slash again. And throw a potion. I will use a 20 nuke potion to not take any damage. I think it's worth it. Kunai is the one that gives us dexterity. Not the one I would have wanted, but it's fine. Twin Strike is good. I think it will stack with Kunai. I'm not sure though. Shockwave is probably the one we want for five turns or that. Or Bloodletting. Gain two. Bloodletting is so good. Holy crap. It's like a little bit of a worse version than the offering, but it's still pretty good. Okay. Hello, Mr. People. So let's start off with Infernal Blading immediately. It's Anger. Anger is good. So it does four damage. So with how we want to handle this. Do four damage to this man in the back row. Do six damage to the guy in the front row. And then block and take no damage from the attack of the middle louse. We need to check the map out. Which route do we need to take? Uh, we need, it was actually this, this route we were supposed to be on, but uh, we pretty much have the choice. We gotta go that route. Okay, got it. Although we don't necessarily need to heal, so we must also keep that in mind. Wow, you guys, we can move four turns. That's harsh guys, but I will shockwave you and then you can tell me how who's really harsh. Me or you man, me or you. I'll probably go for the guy in the front because he does slightly more damage. So we have five armor and we're gonna take three damage. That's okay. We're gonna heal up six this turn. When at the end of this, if we take normal hits from this bomb, he's gonna probably buff himself. Yeah. He's buffed. He still has his little uh curl up, so that's a problem. It means killing him. And actually one shot him is pretty much impossible. Bloodling this there, um let's think. Bloodling is really good, but we don't need it in this round, will we? Let's see. So that does three damage twice. It's six damage. It's not going to actually kill anything. So we can kill. We can. Who can we kill exactly? We can kill you with that. We can kill you with this though. Yeah. We can defend. We can't kill you. This does six damage. Let's think. Let's think. Let's think. We block five, we're gonna take four. We use three, we can block, we'll take one, it's four. So either way, we're gonna take four. So it doesn't really matter how we go. Right now, we can kill this louse in the back, definitely. What am I, oh, but we want to block, we want to block. So uh, he died anyway. He was vulnerable, of course. He was vulnerable. So we're gonna take one. 
That I can that I can accept. Taking one damage from a puff a buffed up monster, I can accept that. No problem. I forgot about the vulnerable. I keep I do that a lot actually. So this is three damage times two, so it's six damage. Probably the right route. I wave it. And slash it. Sweet, so that's the end of that. We got one dexterity from the kunai. Healed up nine thanks to our magical flower. And region potion should heal 50% more too. Dual wield is really good. Um, we've come to this conclusion. Impervious is pretty good. And armaments is also very good. I'm going to go from Impervious here as um, I'm going to be taking on Elite soon. So we have to go either route. Either route's fine. Do we need to heal up and fight? I don't think so. So let's go this way. Please give me a good relic. Modified hand. Whenever you play power, a random call your hand costs you. I mean, that's okay when we have powers. We just don't have powers at the moment. Do we have any powers? No, we don't have any powers, unfortunately. Sweet, so what we got here? First turn, we can bash the back guy. We bloodletting lose three, lose 3 HP, but we can block 10 of the damage and strike the front guy. Awesome. Not bad, not bad at all. Could have striked the back guy and then he would have died in like literally next turn, but uh, I guess it doesn't matter. So we took 2 plus 3 is 5, so we're healing a, a total of 4 so far. So we want to iron wave here. Strike here. And block. Gives us 10 block, we're going to take 2 more. It means we're only healing 2 this round. Not that good. Not that good at all. We do need to kill this guy in the front. Can you just buff yourself please instead of attacking every turn? Thank you. You mother effers. This is heavy blade. Heavy blade does that. Does that. Does that. Easy. The kunai to activate too, which is great. Clash is good. We know this. We've had a clash trap before and it worked out pretty well. But it is bad against very specific types of trigger trap. Yes, we will. Become injure injury. Take 40 damage. Lose 3 max HP. We can't lose more max HP because we really lost max HP, so I think. At this point, you just gotta get injured, right? Where's the next shop? There's no shop until the next floor. Ah, it's, it's like it's one curse card. It's not that bad. Do we have a heal before the... <coughs> Excuse me. We don't have a heal before the elite, so... Although we can use a reach and we'll heal 50% more. So let's just take the 14. You throw us up the boulder with everything you have. When the dust kills, you make your safe way out. We can use a regeneration potion, so it's fine. A merchant! That's pretty good. Okay, let's see. Anchor is good. Lantern is good. And membership card. In future levels, shops appear 50 more often. Bonus 20% discount on all products. The damn! That sounds good. That sounds really good. We can also just, just afford it. Hmm... This is tempting. This is very tempting. I don't know what the right option is here. The anchor could be so good and the lantern is definitely good. But the credit card could be so much better for us in the long run. What I think I'm going to do is pick up the lantern though. And then I'm going to go maybe shrug it off. Because that gets us... Actually, maybe just take a... Maybe just take a poison potion. Let's take a poison potion. We're gonna fight an elite now, so we might as well. But we have have a little bit of extra damage. It is the guy I didn't want to fight, so awesome. Okay, let's think. We can use everything, but unfortunately, two of our things are the faint cards, so very unfortunate. Nice. Let's get 15 defense. That does absolutely nothing for us. Nice game. Thank you so much. Roar. Okay, Mr. Gremlin, I get it. Can I have your horn, please? Your horn is so good. Okay, so we don't want to use any skill cards. That's a skill card. Motherfucker, I don't know. Um, bash him. I want to weak him. 14, he'll gain 2. Weak makes him to 25% less. 25% less of 16 is 4, so he'll do 12. So he'll do 2 less damage than he would have done. Uh, we don't have the energy for it. Okay, maybe that's a good thing. Bloodletting will give him more damage. In front of Blade will give him more damage. Block for 6 is pretty good. He does 2 more. He does 16. I block for 6. I take 10 instead of 14. Yeah, that's. I think that's the play. And uh, I end my turn there. I think that was definitely the play against this guy. Maybe he is poisoned. So he's taking a slight little bit of damage every turn. And here we go. Which is straight up. Actually... Maybe it's better to do this block. 
He'll do 18 to me, which is fine, but I'll block all of it. I'm not sure if that was the right play. I think it was, but I'm not sure. I'm gonna hope it is. There we go. There we go. That's some damage right there. So this is 10 damage. This is 16 damage. This is 6 damage. And I, this is 5 damage, and I get blocked. So I'm gonna take less damage from him. And I'm not even going to need to use the skill cards. That's great. So Iron Wave is actually really good. And I should consider uh, looking into it more often. So you're dead, dude. That's just life. It's just because I know you're dead. I'm going to use Infernal Blade so I can kill you with a Wild Strike. Which is more fun. We healed 9. And we got a Juju Brace. So question marks are good now. Um, Shrug it off is the only one that I would take here. Shrug it off or Armaments. Armaments are really good. We know this. We upgrade armaments. It's really good. Shrug it off. I think, I think you have to take armaments. And I, and I realize that that's a risky proposition. But I think that is the play. Start with Shockwave, of course. Use Iron Wall. And um, how much damage are we going to take? 9 or 0? Let's take 0 damage. I think 0 damage feels better to me. In any way, shape, or form. So we're going to get weakened, I think. This guy's got 50 HP. What is this slaver, man? Who made this slaver? I want to I want to speak to the person who made this slaver. Because that's some bullshit. So this is going to do 6 damage, which is not good. And then uh, we should block 10, I guess. Enter. So we can kill the Laos next turn. 100% guaranteed. And then we just need to deal with the slaver. So we're taking 3 damage here. That's okay. We heal 9. So we're healing 6 still. We'll go up to 50. And at 50, I will fight a boss. I actually don't have a problem fighting a boss. So this is a skill card. So the only way to play all my cards is to use the skill card. So I guess we're using the skill card. So it gives us five mana, so I can play literally everything. Do that. Oh, that's not necessary. This is fine. Why? Oh, this is a skill card. Fuck you. For being a skill card, motherfucker. Draw card. Almonds. Oh my goodness. How lucky I was to get that almonds. We take no damage from this next turn. I'm going 9 HP with Slave, you're going down. So we're not going to reach, we're actually going to, we're going to be on 50, just like I calculated, so that's great. I can just, uh, bash him for funsies. Nice. 50% more damage, so good. Um, Shockwave, Iron Wave, Iron Wave, man, Iron Wave. We've had this conversation, Iron Wave is the way to go, it's the best item. So what do we want to upgrade again? Armaments, there we go. We want to upgrade armaments, so we get in our opening hand, it just makes our entire hand. Our entire start a billion times better. And that is the Hexa Ghost, which is something I'm still frightened of. You know, honestly, so I'm going to start off with the Infernal Blade since we don't know what we're going to get. We got feed. Interesting. So we'd like to feed on him at some point. And it's a free feed. Uh, oh, very interesting. So uh, we want to immediately regeneration potion ourselves. Probably dexterity potion ourselves. And then throw. Will this last forever? I don't know. I'm going to end my turn. I'll throw it on him next turn when he wants to attack. We can start reaching up though, it's fine. We've got two dexterity. Uh, Kunai didn't activate in the last round. That's fine. Sweet. Okay, Kunai will definitely activate this round. So we are taking a billion damage, which is not good. Blood Litting is not going to let us use Clash, is it? Do I take three to use Clash? I think you do. I think you do. I think that's the situation where you take the three damage. You tank the heal damage so you can use Clash. I get it, dude. You did a lot of damage, okay? <clears throat> a lot. And this way you got Omens. You go Shockwave. And you end your turn. So we got a bunch of upgraded cards in our party now. We have three Dexterity. So all our defenses are going to be better, which is always nice. Not enough attacks there for me personally, but uh, Baker's can't be chooses, as they say. I hate these burn cards, man. They're so good. Armaments. This is exactly why we brought armaments onto the playing field for this exact reason. That's super good. I want to eat this Hexagos, okay? I'm eating this Hexagos. I need to start recouping some of my lost HP. I need to start recouping some of my lost HP, man. So he's got strength up and he's got a bunch of... Uh... Actually, we don't need to bash this. So I think block here. Clash here. Twin strike here and normal strike here. I think that was definitely the right play. We did not need to put vulnerable on him as he is still vulnerable. 
Um, it's not going to last longer, but he is still vulnerable. So we need 103 damage in like 3 turns. So very, very, chances are very low. And in the turn here. <coughs> we're going to have to have Imperious. Im Impervious? We need to have that um, super block, basically, or we're going to be in super shit. Um, defend, defend, clash, iron wave. Not gonna get to feed it at this rate. 72 HP left. We have 4 dexterity, which is huge. Does that. 14. So this does 14 damage. It's one more than the other one. So we're taking 18 damage here, and that's just. We need to accept that. We're gonna get 6 burn cards put into our. Fucking discard pile. Only three, only three. Okay, that's fine. I can actually deal with three. There's armaments. Thank you very much. Slash. Uh, slash again. In turn. Okay, I need to eat this man. This man needs to be eaten. He needs to be eaten, ghost. I want to eat ghastly and make ghastly my dinner. Give me feed, baby. That's not feed. I just want to mention you guys that I just want you to know I know that that is not feed. This does uh, 10 damage where this does 9 damage. Well, obviously do 10 damage and then do 9 damage and then 8 turn. So look, we can like, we can definitely kill him as soon as we get feet. So we just need to like hold out until feet, survive until feet. So we play super defensively until feet comes up. So we go like defend and then uh, end the turn. And if we just keep playing super defensively, feet has to come up at some point, right? We're getting 5 cards per turn. That means 3 turns maximum we need to survive. We have Impervious somewhere. So if things get really bad, feet, there we go. Easy. If things are really bad, we could have used Impervious to keep going another turn or two. 95 gold and we get feed which is beautiful so we're having we're going for a strat that gets that nets us a lot of eating of the enemies so that's what we want to look into so we got astrolope upon picking up choose and transform three cards and then upgrade them or reach choose and add five cards to your deck or white beast dash your potions always drop off combat that could be very useful so let's go for that as we could get infinite regeneration potions pretty much So that was the first floor. We took pretty long on it, if I'm being honest. Uh, the best route with elites would be that route and just fight one elite. I think that's the way we're going to do it. Um, it's it's like it's weird because I don't want to fight one elite. I always feel like fighting one elite is like it's not worth the effort or the time you put in. But uh, that's what I'm going to go for. So we're going to start with Shockwave. Get one defense in here. Go for one strike. And turn. We're going to take a lot of damage here, but we are healing 9 and we are taking 9. So we've like balanced our first hit off with the amount of damage taking. And from this point on, they are weakened and they are vulnerable. And we can use that to our advantage on how we want to approach it. So we're going to do 7 damage there, get 5 armor. So we're taking 14, so we need more armor. And we should probably Infernal Blade here. But Wild Strike is pretty good. I think we're going to go for a strike here though. And oh, I miscalculated. I Forgot Wild Strike uses a mana and then gives us a free card. I keep forgetting that and I'm going to take 9 damage because of that. So, big misplay. Big misplay over there. Bum, 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 bum. Okay, so we want to bloodletting here. Lose 3 HP, of course. I want to bash the F out of uh, this guy in the front. Anyone who's twin uh, Will you just die to this? 7, no you won't. Twin Strikes him. Hit this guy. Defend. So he's going to run with our money and that sucks. Um... Because I don't think there's any way we can do 50 something damage to this guy at all in this game. So, or well, at least in one turn as we currently are. Armament, I guess. Defend, I guess. Use Clash. Quite a lot of damage. And then, uh, I guess we'd, we could have fed on him. So, it's pretty close. We almost got him killed. Like, I think if we had played the first round a bit better, it would have been better. But now he's going to run away, take our money. And we lost a ton of HP. An actual ton of HP. But uh, that was just a miscalculation on my side. So potion's good. We're always gonna get a potion off, so that's good. Thunderclap is plus is super good. Absolutely amazing. Let's see what this question mark is. In front of you sits an altar. Receive a special relic, lose golden iron. Yes, please. As you initiate the idol onto the altar, a cold wind swirls throughout the room. The arms of the statue begin to discolor and crumble. Your golden idol begins to dull in color and begins bleeding from its eyes. The bleeding never ceases. So whenever you gain gold, you heal fire. That means we're gonna heal 
not 9, but 14 HP every single fight. Now that is sustainability, people, and that's the type of sustainability we need. And I'm very, very happy about that. So we have a ton of skill cards here, which suck. So we need to get rid of all of them, but we can. So we can start with the next shockwave. Go with Infernal Blade. Get Bowdy Slam. Go Armor. Go uh, Clash. Go Bowdy Slam. And then we end our turn. We're going to take 3 damage, but that's completely acceptable for me. As I do not mind taking 3 damage when I get to heal 9 per turn. So we have 7 damage coming in, so... A block will be good and a bash. Oh, actually, a bash is not necessary. We can have a strike and then a block. We did no damage that round, but I think it's fine because we're going to take no damage. So this heals him for all the damage he does to us, I think. So as long as he doesn't do damage to us, he doesn't heal. He's going to try it again, which is fine. So I think what you do is you start with the armaments. You then thunderclap him. You then strike him. Then strike him again. How about we draw three cards? We do bloodletting, lose 3 HP, it's fine. Iron wave him. And then twin strike him. I think that was definitely the right uh, time to use that potion. We're getting a potion every fight, so we might as well be much more aggressive with our potion usage. So we've got 12 damage coming our way, which is a little bit too much for me to be happy about. Uh, how much damage can we do to him? We can do 6 damage. We won't do enough to do anything. We can block 12 and do 5 damage. Block 12 and do 5. Doesn't feel worth it. But I guess that's the play we're gonna have to go for. Maybe we could use Fee to do a shit ton of damage to him, but I want to. I mean, it's gonna take too long to recycle through all the cards, so. Let's just feed. It's gonna take way too long to recycle through all the cards, so I'd rather just do the feed and move on. We move, we lose a possible 4 HP, but there's also the chance that we wouldn't have made it like last time. So, start with Thunderclap. Flash. He's dead. Easy peasy. Clashes with any type of vulnerability is too strong. Too strong. There's a body slam which we kind of use now. I'm gonna go with headbutt though. I think headbutt is actually pretty good and I've been giving it a little bit of a, a hard time unnecessarily. Boop. Upgrade a card, 25% chance to get cursed injury and obtain a reddick, 75% chance to get cursed normality. Well we probably going to get cursed normality. I'm going to take the chance. You decide to see if you can find anything of use. After uncovering tops, looking through boxes, and checking nooks and crannies, you find a dust-covered relic. Leave. I didn't get cursed. 75% chance and I won. Wow. I mean, I'm very happy. Don't get me wrong, but that doesn't happen every day. Trust me. Um, so we're going to start off, of course, with a thunderclap here. And go for a strike. And we're going to straight up poison you, because you have the most HP. And we're going to end our turn there. Three blocks there, which means very few blocks left in our deck. Like two, three, four. Four to be exact. So we need iron waves. Like, we need iron waves galore. White beast statue. I wonder if this is actually good, and I just never realized it until now. That would be, it'll be interesting. It'll be interesting though. So two iron waves, baby. Come on. Give me two iron waves. You know you want it. You know you want it. You did not give You gave me one iron wave. That's fine. That's fine. I can accept one iron wave. Um, six damage. Six. Twelve. I will not kill, so. It's fine. So we're going to take quite a bit of damage here. Um, quite a bit of damage. Like 13 damage in total. We heal 14 every round. So we will out heal it. But uh, it's still quite a lot of damage. That I would prefer not to have taken. <clears throat> Excuse me. We got some defense now. Can we kill you? That's the question. Yes we can not kill you. Vulnerable you. And then uh, we can kill you. But if we kill you. We'll take 18 damage. We block. We will take six less, so we'll take we'll take more damage than we want if we just kill you. So it's better to kill him in that in that case. That was one of those rare uh, times where I actually calculated the damage for change and realized that killing him was the correct option. These three cultists, if you have very shitty spells like I do, can be extremely dangerous. I should have armaments, of course. That was a misplay on my side, and because of that, I will take a billion damage. That was definitely a misplay on my side. I should have armaments first and then I should have used shockwave. Just to make it last longer. Make me take less damage in the long run. Okay, clash. Oh, I'm pervious, you're wrecking me. That's fine, I won't pervious though, and then I won't use the infernal blade until we get we get hemokinesis, which does 14 damage. I take 3 damage from it though, and I'll end my turn. So he's gonna die definitely next turn, and then we can focus him down. So we're still gonna take quite a lot of damage this fight though, that's the problem. We can still we could still technically tank a shit ton of damage. So you are dead. 
Definitely, I know. So we can uh, block. And then strike. We need to start hitting him. We need to start getting him low. And we're going to have to tank a bit of damage to do that. But uh, we are healing 14 damage a turn. Um, so that's pretty good. 21 incoming damage. It's completely unacceptable. Um, let's see. Can we kill? We need to kill. 12 plus 9 is 21. It's plus 40. Okay, we do kill, but we need to bloodletting. Okay, we had to bloodletting here. It was the only way we guaranteed a kill against this good so And we had to, because we could not afford to lose much. We're not going to get as high anymore. But uh, it's fine. Dual wield is really good for us, probably. Pommel strike is also very good. Uh, I will actually go pommel strike. Here's a resting opportunity for us. Which could be good. But is there anything with Wild Smith? Feed, I guess. Iron Wave, I guess. Seven blocks, seven. Iron Wave is probably the one we want to upgrade now. Proceed. Fight a monster question mark. With 37 HP. Probably. Question mark. We don't know what we're going to fight. And we could die. Heal 27 HP or choose 1 or 20 cards as your deck. Um, I'm going to choose to heal 27 HP here, actually. Reading is for chumps, you doze off in a comfy chair instead. You wake up feeling refreshed. I'm going to come over here, and since we heal up, we can smith again. And I want to upgrade the other iron wave. Awesome. The iron wave is just really good for us, so upgrading it is worth every every single time. We got a prayer wheel, which is okay. It's not great, but it's okay. Ooh, tough fight, tough fight. This is a tough one. Okay, so we need to think about how we're going to handle this. So maybe what we want to do is we straight up want to throw the weakness potion on the guy in the back. We want a shockwave. Make them. Okay. Mm, defend. And probably do a twin strike here. So we're going to tank quite a bit of damage here. Um, 17 damage to be exact. Minus 5. So 14 damage. So we pretty much are breaking even currently. As we are now, we've broken even. So if we take normal damage this whole fight, we'll come out on top. Of course, our chances of that are rather low. So if we use impervious we can clash for free. And we were taking damage, but I think what you rather want to do is just go headbutt. Put armaments back on top of the deck and then go iron wave here. And then we'll take one damage. We can't clash, unfortunately, because of the impervious card, but uh, I'm pretty sure it was the right play. We can't kill now. Shit. So next time we just want to guard for infinity and beyond. Infinity and beyond guarding right now. Oh my lord, we only got one guard card. That's unfortunate. So we're going to take fuck ton of damage because we got five aggressive cards five it's bullshit but um okay so we're gonna take 20 damage here and uh there's not really anything we can do about that or 16 damage to be exact. I mean, there's literally nothing we can do about that. That sucks. And he's going to heal for 16. He's going to put on with 4 HP. Oof. That was extremely unfortunate. Let's Palmer Strike him. Get Clash. Defend. Skill card. Gives us that. Clash him. It's fine. That actually, Clash is so good. Ooh, we took a lot of damage in this fight. Slavers are too strong game. You can't have a thing that does more damage than I can block in the early game. It's ridiculous. And turn. So I only need to do 29 damage to kill him in this next turn, but that's a little bit out of our range at the moment. Bum, 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 bum. You're not going to get to feed on him either. We haven't actually fed on anything. We haven't been like focusing feeding. We've just been trying to focus surviving at this point. And uh, it is definitely causing problems. But he's dead and that's all that matters. We get Kunai. I forgot about Kunai giving us dexterity charges. So like early game you want. We actually want to do that. Armaments plus is really good. We've got two armament pluses now. Which is really good. We never want both armament pluses in our, in our hand though. That would suck. Don't do not we can just strike, 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 strike. Whether I did more or less damage there, I have no idea. I have no idea. But we got a dexterity charge and that's all that matters. 
We are failed and we are weakened. I think that is bullshit game. It's just by the way. Okay, I think we did pretty well, pretty okay there. We're gonna take fucking so much damage. Every single monster has this shit. Every single monster has that shit. And it's ridiculous game. It's actually ridiculous and it's frustrating. It really, really is frustrating. That every monster I fight has these fucking status shit. I need ginger, man. And I need whatever the opposite of ginger is. It stops me from getting frail. Do, 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 do. This is a very bad draw. Bum, 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 bum. We have no bludgeon or anything like that that does massive DPS. We have no actual super DPS items. That's the problem. The feed will do seven because this guy has got infinite armor. Man, these things are... I feel like the enemies are just so much stronger in this area for some reason. I mean, it's not like we have bad relics. We actually have good relics for change, but we're just getting completely demolished. I guess you got Iron Wave. You just got Armaments. And Armaments. Oh, I should have defended. It would have given me more defense. I can't deal with this 21 damage every fucking turn, dude. What the hell am I supposed to do against that? It's ridiculous. Just he hits for 20. Let's let's think about this logically though. He hits for 21 damage per turn, three turns around, 63 damage, and you're telling me I must block 63 damage. Explain to me how, and I will do it. But until then, fuck you. Okay, straight up game. Think ahead. Move a card from my deck. You want to remove one of the armaments, I think. I think you want to remove one of the armaments. Infernal Blade, actually. We might want to remove Infernal Blade. I'm going to remove Infernal Blade. That, that card's been causing problems for us. And making me do misplays. So I need to go to this thing. Rest up. Because we're going to take on our first... Elite on the second floor. We've been getting our ass handed to on the second floor, so that's just bad in any way we look at it. Look at this opening hand. What do I do with this? I literally just removed the skill card and you give me four skill cards. Four. Five. Six, seven. Eight. Nine, ten. Ten out of twenty-four skill cards and you give me four in my opening hand. Four game. Thank you so much for being nice to me. I'm gonna fucking do nothing because you wrecked me, dude. And I'm gonna get weakened, which means I'm not gonna be able to kill you. Oh, the game fucked me so hard. Now tell me, do you think that was calculated? I'm pretty sure that shit was calculated. Pretty sure the game calculated that shit. Go to that guy. At least there will be less armor coming through for us, so we need to worry about. This guy's gonna infinite weak us, so we're gonna be weak in the entire fight. Oh my god, that was like... That start, that start, makes you lose the game. That's the start that makes you lose the entire game. You get that start, with five defensive plays, and you can't do anything, that's a loss. I am extremely pissed off right now. I know I'm picking good cards. I know I'm picking the best cards possible when I uh, when I do this. The game is just fucking me. What must I do? I didn't actually think that was gonna kill that guy. I'm not gonna lie to you. I obviously miscalculated. I forgot about the vulnerable. I guess. Yeah, because ten percent, uh, ten damage plus uh, fifty percent is fifteen damage, so of course. Bum, 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 bum. Armaments. Thinking ahead. Put a card on top of my deck. We're gonna put impervious because it does nothing. We are then gonna use iron 
flash and twin strike to do as much damage as possible. I'll be amazed if we survive this. I truly will. Okay, shield guy I can deal with and a mag guy. I can deal with both. These two can attack me. I don't give a fuck. I literally don't care. Um, let's think. How do we want to handle this? Iron wave, probably this dude in the back. Okay, that's, that's just damage. 4 plus 27 is 31. We have 8. We can get... Okay. I don't think we tanked that damage, okay? I don't think we tanked that damage. I should have got an attack then instead of Iron Wall, but it's fine. 49 armor though, that's insane. We only have one kunai stack. Imagine we have like 10 kunai stacks. Something. We're ridiculous. Okay, so you want to go... You don't actually want to go Thunderclap here because... It's going to make... I mean, I could probably eat someone. Do 7 damage. Could probably eat one of these people. Like I could probably eat this one. But I guess you, the logical explanation is to eat that one. And then strike this one. That's probably the right play. But, uh... And take 5 damage. I think that's the right play. But it's it's difficult to know for sure which one was the right play. Did she armor that guy? I think so. Don't ever give up. Got boosted. So how much damage does he do now? Now he does 8 damage. So now he's a problem. Okay, so we want to get rid of this card. So we can clash this guy. Pommel strike this guy. And then uh, defend one. Or just strike. Take 8 damage. We're only taking 2. So I think go for the strike. Pretty sure that was the right play. In turn. We have three dexterity charges, so we're like getting slightly stronger, I guess. Remember, once we kill this big guy, though, the little ones run away. A shield person and a small person. Okay, now we have problems. Now we have actual problems. So I guess you go armaments here. Iron wave. And then headbutt. Put iron wave back on top of the deck. And so we need to do 22 next turn. I think we can do that. We're gonna get weakened. Oh shit, we're gonna get weakened. Fuck. So now we need to do... Like... 28 damage to kill this guy. We need to have a total of 28 damage doing. Which we don't... I don't think we have in our deck. And if we don't kill him, we just straight up die. That's what I'm understanding from this. So we wanna go defend. We wanna go thunderclap. We wanna go clash. And then, uh... Iron wave him. Oh my god, that was close. Holy shit, we got the exact right cards. Well, I think we were game over there. No jokes. No jokes. Omamari is super good. I like Omamari. Uh, Rage Plus is super good for us. Let's go. Uh, heal up here or upgrade? I think this is an upgrade situation. Well, what do you even upgrade? Nothing is really good. Nothing we have is actually good. Like, everything we have is kind of just basic. Pommel Strike, probably 10 damage and 2 draw cards is probably good. But yeah, everything we have is super basic. Oh my god, it's this fucking bronze automator. So... You think ahead first, right? Put a card on top of our draw pile. Put impervious on top of our draw pile. Uh, it doesn't matter what we put on top, we're gonna draw anyway. Put the block on top for now. We're gonna draw two cards regardless, so... Oh, let's see. Put the pommel. No, wait, no, we don't want the pommel strike because we we want pommel strike. Put the uh, we want to upgrade impervious. So put the feet on top of the thing. Yeah, yeah. Go upgrade everything. Go pommel strike. Go headbutt. Put pommel strike back on top. Go feet. I don't care about e eating people. I care about killing this dude as fast as possible. Boom, boom. These little motherfuckers. Next turn they're gonna steal my shit. Okay, so I think this is where you pommel strike first, actually. Then your armaments, your iron wave. You end your turn. Got 14 armors, so we're gonna not take any damage from the bronze automator. We got pretty far last time against this guy. Bloodletting sucks, dude. Shockwave sucks even more, dudes! That's like my whole strategy in killing you fudges! Okay, well, we can clash here. An iron wave here. Strike here. Strike here. 
End our turn. They're gonna all get armor now. Maybe we should spend our next turn just defending as much as possible because we can't do any damage anyway. 24 armor, 33 effing armor, and this guy's gonna hit for 20 damage. Okay, I feel what you I feel what you're putting down there. How about I do this? And then uh, okay, so we can impervious and get 42 armor and we'll block this entire round. But I think what we're doing instead is we're straight up killing this dude. Getting shockwave back. Drinking this potion. Actually. Drinking this potion a good idea? I don't think so. I don't think we want to shockwave right now either. I think we're going to just twin strike this guy. And then our turn. Um, we're going to take 28 damage though. Can we afford to take 28 damage? I think we I think we have to. I think we have to take 28 damage here. We need to keep impervious for his big hyper beam. Or we just will lose that. I think we actually have to just tank that damage. I have to mute my mic quickly. And I'm back, sorry about that. That dog boxed constantly. Nothing I can do about it. And uh, it does make the playing of the game a lot harder. Uh, so we're gonna go here, drink this. It's finally our time to shine. I knew the day would come one day where we would finally be allowed to shine. And that is now. Dun, dun, dun. We have five dexterity, which is nice. Bump, 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 bump. Okay, so he's got his hyper beam shit coming soon, right? Oh, not now, next turn. Okay. Thinking ahead. Okay, let's think. We need to put card to our draw power. We have three mana, but how much damage is coming in? 24. This heals blocks to 10. This blocks to 30. It's 23. So we're gonna want to put a strike away. Confirm. We want to go defend here, of course. Um, what's armaments here? Upgrade all the cards in our hand. Clash gets upgraded. Great. Uh, we should have thunderclap before we clash. I guess it doesn't matter because uh, that does seven and vulnerable. Yeah, I guess keeping the vulnerable stacks high is good. Okay, so we're going to take one damage here. We're somehow blocking through most of his damage. I don't know how. I guess the kunai is coming through in the clutch for us. It's the only logical invasion I can think. So there's some good stuff here going for us. Um, actually, I think what I'm going to do is this. Okay, more, more dexterity charges. Every dexterity charge we get means we live tad but longer okay here comes hyper beam we need all the defense items or we fucking lose we lose here
probably iron wave back and forth. So 31 plus 41. 41 defense, we die. This guy just does too much damage. He does just way too much damage for us. We just can't deal with it. Anyway, so that's going to be it in this episode. Thank you so much for watching. You guys enjoyed this episode. I don't know what we need to change or what we need to fix to be able to beat the bronze item. But uh, we're going to have to look into it. But we're going to unlock the final item. So let's check it out. New unlocks. Goes to armor. Etrio. Gain 10 armor. Etrio is this card. If this card is in your hand at the end of your of turn, it is exhausted. Exhausted cards are removed from the deck until the end of the combat. That's not good. Carnage. Etrio. Deal 18 damage for two. I mean, that's not that good. So I don't know why... It's like in the final end. Entrench, double your current block. That is good. Anyway, so that's going to be this episode. Like I said, if you guys want to pick up the game, it's in the description below. It's a great game, and I do advise you all to pick it up. It's uh, definitely worth a series, but although frustrating, as you can see at times, this was a much longer episode. I should have split it in two. I am not going to that. And I think uh, let's put a long one out every now and then. Two full floors, 15 minutes of gameplay. As uh, Once again, I'll see you on the next episode of Slayer Spire coming out tomorrow.